Good morning. Welcome to Current Scam World. In this class, we will solve a problem based on coordination chemistry, crystal field stabilization energy, crystal field splitting energy. This question was asked in IIT Jam. The question is given that the crystal field stabilization energy of cobalt hexa aqua 2 plus complex is 7360 centimeter inverse. The calculated value of delta naught in kilojoule per mole is asked. Let us solve this uh, question. Let us first write what are the data given in this problem they have given crystal field stabilization energy equal to 7360 cm inverse and the central metal ion is cobalt 2 plus its atomic number is equal to 27 so its valency cell electron configuration or outer cell electronic configuration is 3d7 4s2 because CO2 plus the two electron is lost okay in this problem they have asked to calculate the delta naught in kilojoule per mole that is delta naught is equal to crystal field splitting energy this is the crystal field splitting energy the energy gap between t2g orbitals and eg or eg orbitals delta naught is equal to the energy gap between t2g and eg orbitals okay so in the presence of uh, ligand field or crystal field six water molecule the d orbitals are split into two orbitals t2g orbitals and eg orbitals one set because when the crystal field approaches the central metal ion then water molecules approach the different orbitals will interact differently for example t2g orbitals dxy dyz dxz or in between the approach of ligands therefore they are lowered and these orbitals dx dz square and dx square minus y square these two orbitals are directly towards the crystal field therefore they are raised above the barycenter this this is called a barycenter and delta naught is the crystal field splitting energy In this question, they have asked to calculate the delta naught from the crystal field stabilization energy for this copper aqua complex. So, what is the formula used? What is the formula used? The crystal field stabilization energy is calculated for this complex using this formula that is minus 0 0.4 number of T2g electrons in T2g d orbitals plus 0 0.6 into number of electrons in eg orbitals into delta naught. Okay. So in this there are 5 electrons in the T2g orbital for uh, D7 in low field complex ok low field complex um, you have 5 electrons in T2g orbital therefore minus it is because this is called barycenter from barycenter T2g orbitals are lowered by 0 0.4 delta naught whereas EG orbitals or rippled eg orbitals are rippled therefore energies are raised by 0 0.6 plus 0 0.6 delta naught therefore minus because 
this is 0 minus this is above 0 plus minus 0 0.4 into 5 electrons number of electrons in T2G orbital plus 0 0.6 number of electrons in EG orbitals into 2 delta naught. So this is equal to minus 0 0.8 delta naught that is the this is called the crystal field stabilization energy in this problem they have given crystal field stabilization energy is equal to 767360 per centimeter. So, delta naught from this delta naught equal to 7360 per centimeter divided by here 0 0.8. Therefore, the crystal field splitting energy in terms of per centimeter is equal to minus 9200. But in problem, they have asked to calculate delta naught in kilojoule per mole. So, the unit conversion is the formula for unit conversion is 1 kilojoule is equal to 83.7 per centimeter. Okay. Therefore, let us write in reverse 83.7 per centimeter equal to 1 kilojoule. Now, for minus 9200 per centimeter equal to, okay, then you bring it here, divided by 83.7 into 9200 kilojoule, okay, that is equal to minus 109.9 kilojoule per mole. Thank you guys for watching. 